Hey guys, welcome back to Blind Strike Exotics. I'm John, and I had another awesome question today from uh, Kevin at 4SS Pythons. He wanted to know, uh, let's see here, what uh, what do I keep on my cart, and where did I get my cart? Um, so I have, it's a Rubbermaid cart, I should, or I should say carts. Uh, this is a Rubbermaid commercial cart. Um, I bought this off of Amazon. Actually, it was a Christmas present for my wife. That's how much of a, uh, a loser I am is that I wanted a, a Rubbermaid cart for Christmas. Um, I've had that for a couple years. And this metal rolling cart, or I should say shelving system, uh, it's Vivor. It's from Amazon. I actually just got this recently. It's stainless, stainless steel. But I actually like it a lot. It's very lightweight. It's like 110 bucks. And I actually purchased another one because I'm actually going to put um, these aquariums on them. Uh, one has the uh, lychee in it and the other has a couple garter snakes. Um, so I can get rid of that table because eventually I'm getting my uh, Freedom Breeder rat rack. And I need more space so this table's going away. So I'm actually going to put them on and put them over there next to this rack. Um, this one you know, holds my, my craft paper. I actually purchased this heavy duty craft paper. It's a little thicker than this other craft paper that I have down here. I usually use this stuff. It's the lighter weight stuff that I um, got off of Amazon. It's just very lightweight. You fold it in half and I throw it into the hatchling tubs. That works very well. I did have this heavier stuff that I was using in my uh, Reptile Basics or Vivarium Electronic tubs because I was using them more often for snakes, for bigger snakes, but now that I got the new 55 series, I'm not gonna be using these as much. So I'll probably just stick with the lighter weight paper because I don't need to have two stacks of paper here. It just kind of takes up too much space as I'm you know, trying to make sure that I'm getting the most out of the room that I have. So after I use all this stuff, I'll just buy this lighter weight stuff permanently and I'll probably keep that down there. Um, what else do I have on here? I keep usually keep my temperature gun here, my cleaning spray, uh, roll of paper towels, a bunch of forceps and tongs, and um, I keep my, my Sharpies here. What do I use these for? I use them for two different things. Usually when I'm writing on boxes, you know, I have to write that you have a ball python or python regis when you're shipping. I use them for that, but the snakes that I have that are hatchlings, I use the Sharpies to make note of what clutch they're from, what gender they are, and how many meals they've had. And I just put that on painter's tape on the racks. And I also have these, my clip system that I'm always refining that I use for snakes that are staying here permanently. Um, I've kind of divided them into the white clips being mice, because you think of mice and you think of white. Um, green being live prey that they're taking. Blue being frozen, because don't you think of frozen as that. And then the red ones and the yellow ones I actually use for mice, typically. I've started having to use the yellow ones as kind of leftovers uh, for the other snakes because they ran out of other colors. But I actually use these for the mice and rats because yellow means the last litter they had was kind of small, so I need to watch for that rat. And red means that the mom had uh, is, is, is getting retired, I guess is the nice way to put it. Um, so that when she's done weaning her current, her current litter, she needs to get put to pasture. Um, and then I also have my, I showed this in my cool gadget video a couple back that I have my hand sanitizer dispenser so that I can keep my hands sanitized at all times and you know roll of tape there as well. Underneath here um, I have my box of gloves. I have a roll of uh, garbage bags. I have this stainless steel um, pan that I thought I'd use more for stuff but I don't. What I usually use it for is if I absolutely have any leftover frozen thawed rats when I'm feeding everybody and nobody eats it and I can't find somebody to eat it, I will just gather them all up in this pan and toss them. I have a garbage can outside that I'll throw them into so that I'm not attracting, uh, you know, raccoons or 
coyotes. I'll just put them on this and toss it out. Um, and then on, the, I had an old baking rack, you know, one of those like Walmart baking racks that you would build um, that would have like the wood deck and then it would have like the metal frame in the back and a shelf on top. I got, I was getting rid of that and I found out that this shelf would fit here if I just affixed it with some uh, zip ties. So I have an extra shelf inside of this Rubbermaid cart and I keep my cold packs and my leftover heat packs here that I have open in this one tub. Uh, I keep some extra, I have like Clorox wipes in there. Um, I have some rot garden here that luckily I haven't had to use too many times. Neosporin as well, which I actually found. I had um, one of my females last year at some point was having an issue with a couple rotten scales on her mouth and this actually helped a lot with helping that heal and then i have a couple um bags here that i use if a snake's having trouble shedding that i will use as like the bags i use to kind of soak them and help them try to uh get the uh stuck shed off and then in here i actually don't know what these are like the bags from rodent pro that you get i don't know why they're in here to be honest i think i was just saving them if i needed extra ones but i actually keep them out with my freezer now so i don't know why i still have them here and then obviously i have mouse traps because you know i have all of these rodents here and they do get loose um and then i have a couple extra spray bottles here that uh you know for cleaning just extra backups so nothing too crazy um I think the standard is for people to use these Rubbermaid carts. And it definitely has its utility. The one thing I dislike about these a lot are that only, which, let's see which ones, only these front wheels swivel. The back ones do not swivel, they are static. Which is a major pain in the butt when you're trying to move it around the room. You have to like give it like, if you're trying to make like a tight turn, you have to give it like a wide berth. It's really annoying. I don't know why all four wheels don't swivel. I don't know if they've changed that since then. Um, but <laughs> like, like if I want to move this one around the room, I just move it around the room however I want it to go. And it just goes everywhere because all four wheels swivel. But I can't, like this one takes a lot more maneuvering. I have to be very smart with how I'm moving it, especially if you don't have a lot of room. Um, while this room may be bigger than some of your snake rooms, um, it's maybe a 20 by 20 room. It's not humongous though. So when I'm trying to do stuff in here, um, you know, and I have these racks lining all these outside walls and I need to bring my big garbage can in the middle of the room and I'm taking this step ladder and I have it set up here. So I'm doing something up there. You know, this room quickly loses kind of a lot of, a lot of floor space when I'm working in this area where all the racks are. So to have, you know, a cart that moves independently um, and all four wheels swivel like that, it makes life a lot easier. It's not a big deal, but if I had to do it all over again, I would probably buy stuff more like this that has the four independent swiveling wheels um they're probably about the same price i like the size of this better and i like that it has a lip here because when you're cleaning hassling tubs for instance um it's easier to kind of clean everything in here keep the hatchling here you're not going to worry about it falling off hopefully you catch the snake if it keeps coming up the side before it actually falls off the edge if you were to put a hassling on here and you weren't paying attention, it'd be off the side before you could even see that it was falling to its doom. So that's my cart. I don't keep anything too crazy on here. It's just very basic stuff, but the essentials, cleaner, paper towels, gloves, my paper for the hatchlings, my feeding utensils, um, sanitizer, clips to let me know who's eaten recently and who isn't. Um, but an awesome question. It's probably one of those things I've never covered or may have not thought about covering it. So awesome question, uh, Kevin. And guys, keep sending in awesome questions. I posted a video three days ago and I've already had two awesome ideas from you guys. So keep them coming.